In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a fillable form in Microsoft Word. First, we're going to take a look at a quick example. And this example is of a probationary evaluation form that I created. And as you'll notice, I have fillable fields in this form that you can tab through or select with your mouse as you type through the form. So if I have the employee's name up here, and then I can tab over to the date, and then I can also select with my mouse where I want to go. If I have a checkbox, I click there and it checks the box. So this is an easy form that you can tab through and I'm going to show you exactly how you can make one of these forms for yourself. The form that we're going to make is, a, is an employee status change form. And this is a typical form. It's also called a personnel action form, but it's a form that you use between HR and payroll to make status changes for employees. And so here, what we're going to do is use legacy tools to insert those text fields, check boxes, and even drop down form fields that you can create in Microsoft Word. So first, we're going to go up here in our search area and we're going to type legacy tools. And legacy tools pops up over here. And as you'll notice, you go over here and you have these first three icons have the text form field, the checkbox form field, and the drop down form field that you can use and insert into your form. So first, I'm going to go ahead and select the text form field for the date. And as soon as I enter this in, I can select it by highlighting it, and then I can change the formatting. So if I want the form to be filled in, whoever's typing it in, say I want it to be a little bit bigger and italics so it stands out different from the form itself that I created with all the bold text. So right there, I've formatted this to be italics and the font size of 12. And if I copy and paste, so I hit Control C to copy that, I can enter that in anywhere that I want a form field. And this is anywhere where I want the person who's going to use this form and fill in this form to type in text. So all I have to do is hit Control V and paste that everywhere that I want that text field to go. And then when I get down to uh, this area, I want to have a drop down form field. So I'm going to go back up here to my search area where I have legacy tools. And then I'm going to select the drop down form field. All right, it looks exactly the same as the text form field, right? But if you double click on it, it opens a window and lets you insert your criteria that you want to put into your drop down. So we're going to say, please select. And we're going to add that. And maybe we're going to say a status is active uh, on leave or um, inactive. And you can enter in as many form fields as you want. Over here on the right, if you want to move these things up and down, you can do that with these little arrows. And then you just click OK. And now when you lock your form, the person who's going to use the form and fill it in is going to be able to make a selection in that drop down. So we'll, I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Now, say I want to use the exact same form field. All I have to do is select it, copy, and paste over here. And it's the same, uh, the same text field. Now, let's just say I did want to make sure that that was formatted as font size 12 and italics so it will match the rest of the form. I'll do that real quickly over here. All right, so then we come down and here's where we want to enter a checkbox. So we put our cursor where we want to put a checkbox. We go to Insert, Legacy Tools, and insert the checkbox. It's as simple as that. And then you can copy your checkbox and paste it wherever you want to put your checkbox. So those are really quick ways that you can enter your text form fields, your drop downs, and checkboxes to create a fillable form. Now, to make it active and select it, what you do is you go up to the review tab up here at the top, and then you're going to say restrict editing. It's going to bring up the restrict editing window over here to the right. You're going to check box number two and then drop down and select filling in forms and then say yes, start enforcing protection. 
and I'm not going to put in a password. You, if you put in a password, remember, you're going to have to remember that password and write it down and not forget it. So uh, I typically don't put in a password, but you can if you want to, and then you would just click OK. And then now that you have the editing enforced, you can see that all the person can do is toggle between those form fields. So they can't select anywhere else on the form and do anything, but they can go and make selections in the form field and check the boxes and type into the, the text box form fields. So it's really easy. And then if you ever did need to make some changes or edits, remember, just go back up to your review tab, click restrict editing again, and click stop protection. And then that allows you to go and edit your form if you need to make uh, a, a change or fix something. It's really easy to do. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. Thanks for watching.